welcome back to my channel. So today's video was totally inspired by my brother and I'll tell you why. A little while back, me and my brother were taking these photos for my grandma. We both were going to be in our uniforms and he forgot his tie. So I was like, don't worry about it. I know how to work around Photoshop. I was like, I can Photoshop a tie into your uniform. And when he saw the picture, he was like so shocked. Like the tie looked so real, like it was really there that he was like, wait a minute, was I wearing a tie? Um, I was like, no, it wasn't because I just spent 25 minutes trying to Photoshop it onto your body. It definitely wasn't there, but like, you know, it just looks so realistic. And then someone said, why do we even buy clothes if we can just Photoshop them onto us? And that gave me the idea. <laughs> That gave me the idea for this video. You guys know, well maybe you don't know if you're really young, but when I was a kid, I grew up, we had these things called like paper doll books. I have a very like clear vision of what this book looks like in my mind. And you would like pop them out of the book and then you would pop out, you know, a shirt, a skirt, a dress, some accessories, a purse maybe, you'd pop them all out of this book and then you would put them on the doll. And I'm not really sure why we had these dolls at all because at the same time I had these 2D paper dolls that could do absolutely nothing. I also had like every single Barbie doll known to mankind. I thought it'd be really fun to take really cool photos with no, well not with no clothes on, I almost said with no clothes on. I had clothes on, I had like my swimsuit on and I thought it would be really fun to photoshop just like outfits onto my body and try to make it look like I'm actually wearing the clothes and if I can pull it off, I'm gonna post them on Instagram so that I can look like a trendy, like bad girl even though I didn't I mean I didn't have to buy anything I didn't have to go anywhere I didn't have to go to the store like this could be the way to stay on the trends without spending any of your coin or this could be a really big flop and it'll still be comedic and fun to watch anyway so let's go Okay, so I have my laptop here. I'm gonna be getting on different clothing websites. I like that this challenge gives you the opportunity to basically shop from anywhere. Like we could get clothing from anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> and there are some places that I can't normally shop at because you know, a girl is broke. Okay, so we are on forever21.com. I literally looked up like what was new, I think. Is that what I clicked on? I already like this athletic set because I don't have any I just spit <laughs> I don't have any cute athletic clothes is it bad that I'm like picking out these shirts based on like what would be easiest to Photoshop oh oh I have this tank top in this color I love it I don't want 20% off because I'm not buying anything decline I'm taking your clothes for free this feels like stealing in a way such an artist. Oh, this jogger set is cute. Does it come in another color? It does. Oh, it comes in white. Hey, oh yeah. I love it. I love it. Oh, she looks so good in it too. Of course she does. Of course she does. She a model. I don't know if I said this at the beginning of the video, but I'm not going to try to Photoshop shoes onto my feet because it's just going to end up looking like crazy. I love anything that has like a really cool, like different cutout. I think it's like super cute. What does that mask say? Quarantine and chill, huh? The new Netflix and chill, quarantine and chill. There is no one quarantining or chilling with me. Oh, this is like a poofy sleeve one. Oh, I like it. I wanna try it. <laughs> Sometimes they have really weird, absurd graphic tees. Like you've all seen them, the ones where you like, you look at them, you're like, oh, this is a cute shirt. And then you turn it around and it's like, I love tacos or something like really like you just don't want that on a shirt like I love tacos you love tacos we all love tacos but do we want that on our t-shirt no but sometimes they do have really cute graphic tees that have really cute phrases on them really cute sayings that I want or like a really cute character like they'll have Mickey Mouse or just like something I want but they're kind of expensive graphic tees are like that they have to pay for like the licensing to put the character on the shirt and then they like rob you your money for their cheap cotton shirt that got like really aggressive i'm sorry forever 21 but you know it's true i thought i would head over to the graphic tea section because this could be like our moment this could be like our time 
to get like a character shirt that we want to rock like an oversized tee or something cute that we never got to before you know what i'm saying oh they have a power ranger shirt i don't have a power ranger shirt i do not have a power ranger shirt i haven't seen the power rangers in like 10 years but hey we need that oversized hoodie, all right? Oh my gosh, they have a My Little Pony graphic tee. We might get lost in this section. We may, we may never come out. This might be my wardrobe. If y'all just, if from now on you go to my Instagram and you like, something just looks a little off when it comes to my clothing choices. Like something seems off. Like something seems like that shirt looks like it's not really on your body. Just like, don't be suspicious. <laughs> don't even, don't think anything of it. <sighs> I got really thirsty. Not something you want to be when you're picking out your clothes that you're going to put on your body for free. <laughs> I keep saying this, but if this turns out really good and it really looks like I'm wearing these clothes, I swear to you, I'll never spend money on anything ever again. Because at this point, it's 2020. I never leave my house because there's like, the world is on fire outside and I have nowhere to wear all these cute outfits. So like, why buy them? Why not just steal them from their website? Which is actually, I don't think stealing because I think you're free to like take their photos. Anyway, it's much cheaper. Um, well, maybe your legal fees it won't be cheaper, but like it's much cheaper to just Photoshop them on your body, post them on Instagram so you can look like you have life and you can look like you have fashion and you can look like you're being trendy, but really you're just a paper doll. I feel like this is one of those games that could like it could get really addicting. It could get really, really dangerous really fast. Oh, I like this rose t-shirt. This reminds me of Shawn Mendes. <laughs> I miss Shawn Mendes. I went and saw him in concert last year and maybe never again. I keep looking at these things as if I am going to be buying them and I keep being like, oh, that's cute, but it's not really my style. Like, this is the time. This is the time to try it out because guess what? Uh. You can be anything you want today, Serena. We are granting wishes today, Serena. I am so unwell. <laughs> okay, now that I've hit up Forever 21, I'm gonna head on over to Pretty Little Thing. Ooh, it says up, up to 70% off everything. <laughs> well, guess what? We're getting 100% off everything in here, okay? I really wanna find like a really cute dress. Let's go to the dresses first this butterfly dress oh my gosh it's only nine dollars wait maybe we will buy real clothes today oh a liquid latex dress maybe i should try that Ooh, -hoo. her boobs look way better than mine would in this but you know what i love this polka dot dress again not a dress that i feel like i would see at the store and like buy totally out of my comfort zone but i think that's kind of the point of this right it's to like pick something out that you wouldn't normally buy. I don't know what that water noise is. Oh, I love this denim dress, so cute. Girl, work it. This girl looks so good in it. The, isn't that like how they get you though, is like the model looks so good in it that you're like, oh, I'm gonna look like her. Okay, let's go and try to get some accessories. Let's see. I kinda wanna get some sunglasses. For you all, let's look. In real life, I have like no trendy sunglasses, so I really want a pair of like not that not that we're getting them today. We ain't spending money today. These are really cute. I honestly have no like I feel like I have no sense of style. I'm just not good at picking out like what looks good and what looks cute and what's trendy. Another brand that I have never shopped from but I've heard about speaking of like fancy dresses and stuff is Fashion Nova, which I think is like taking like higher end dresses, things that like the Kardashians wear, making them super affordable, much cheaper. That's where I'm gonna find my next outfit from. All these outfits just remind me of like the baddie girl outfits and I just don't feel like I can pull them off. I just, I don't think I can. Oh, matching sets, short sets, skirt sets. Let's try skirt sets. All these models are like so gorgeous. I can't. <laughs> this one reminds me of the Chanel outfit.
for you guys today now that I have turned myself into basically a human paper doll this has been so much fun to make I do think that obviously you know this looks photoshopped like they don't look like I'm actually wearing the clothes but I did think it was fun to like experiment with the photography and the putting the clothes on and picking out the clothes I just thought this whole entire process was so much fun um, if you guys are still watching at the end of this video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you sometime soon with another one. Bye!